Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Miss Brienne, and welcome to another video of our Artful Calligraphy series. The series where I teach you the art of beautiful and artistic lettering, uh, which you can use to create wonderful and artful lettering projects. Now, in my previous videos, I taught you the basic shapes that you're going to need to learn because those shapes are what's going to form the letters. Now today, I'm just going to be doing a review of the eight shapes with you. The shapes that we have are the entrance stroke, the overturn, the underturn, the compound curve, the O, the A center loop, the D center loop, and the pedal push slant. Now I'm just going to review briefly each of these shapes with you. So what I want you to do today is fill up one line with one shape. So you'll need a couple practice sheets for this and I'll be doing this with you. So are we ready to begin? All right, let's go. We're going to do the entrance stroke first. So start at the baseline, draw to the side and slowly curve up to the waistline. Again, start at the baseline, draw to the side, and slowly go up to the waistline. All right, one more time. Start at the baseline, draw to the side, and slowly go up to the waistline. Now I'm going to give you a minute to complete the rest of the line on your own. And just remember, even if I don't have a video out, please practice with what you, you already learned already. The more you practice, the easier it is to master. Okay, the next stroke or shape we're going to be doing is the pedal push slant. You start at the top line. And with heavy pressure, you're going to go right down to the baseline. And like I said, I'm holding this straight so you get a better angle, but it's, if it's easier for you, you can tilt your paper a little bit or even at a 90 degree angle. And I forgot to mention, when you're doing upward strokes, you're using light pressure, downward strokes such as this, heavy pressure. So let's try it again. Start at the top line and push down with heavy pressure to the baseline. One more time, start at the top line and pedal push heavy pressure down to the baseline. All right, so I'm going to give you a minute to do those on your own. Fill up the rest of that line. Okay, the next shape I'm going to review with you is the overturn. So you start at the baseline, light pressure going up to the waistline, and then you're going to curve and then heavy pressure down back to the baseline. Let's try that again. Start at the baseline, light pressure going up to the waistline, curve, and then heavy pressure down to the baseline. All right, one more time. Start at the baseline, light pressure going up to the waistline, curve, and heavy pressure down to the baseline. Okay, I'm going to give you a minute to fill out the rest of that line. Here we go.
All right, good job, boys and girls. The next shape I'm going to be showing you is the underturn. So, when you start the baseline with the overturn, it's going to be different. This time with the underturn, you're going to start at the waistline. So, heavy pressure going down, make a curve, and go up to the waistline. Again, heavy pressure going down to the baseline, and then light pressure going up back to the waistline. One more time. Start at the waistline, heavy pressure going down to the baseline, make a curve, light pressure going up to the waistline. All right, I'm going to give you a minute to fill out the rest of that line on your own. Let's begin. All right, good job, boys and girls. The next shape we're going to review is the compound curve. With this, you start at the baseline, light pressure going up to the waistline, curve, heavy pressure down back to the baseline, curve, then light pressure going up back to the waistline. Again, light start at the baseline, light pressure going up to the waistline, curve, Heavy pressure going down to the baseline, curve, light pressure going up back to the waistline. All right, one more time. Light pressure going up to the waistline, curve, heavy pressure going down back to the baseline, curve, light pressure going up back to the waistline. All right, so I'm going to give you a minute to finish that line on your own. All right, that's the compound curve. Our next shape is the O. So what you do here, if you remember, is start between the waistline and the baseline. Use light pressure going up and curve. Heavy pressure going down back to the baseline and curve. Then light pressure going back up to connect to the first line. Again, start in the center. Light pressure going up to the waistline curve, heavy pressure going down back to the baseline, curve, light pressure going back up. One more time, start in the center, light pressure going up to the waistline and curve, heavy pressure going down to the baseline and curve, light pressure coming back up. Okay, I'm going to give you a minute to finish that line on your own. And this one is one of the more challenging shapes to master, so make sure you practice this a little bit more often.
Okay, our next shape we're going to review is the ascender loop. So what you do here is you start at the waistline, light pressure going up to the top line, curve, and then heavy pressure going down all the way to the baseline. Again, start at the waistline, light pressure going up to the top line, curve, heavy pressure going down to the baseline. One more time, start at the waistline, light pressure going up to the top line, curve, heavy pressure going down to the baseline. All right, so I'm gonna give you a minute to finish that line on your own. Alright, good job boys and girls. And the last shape we're going to review is our descender loop. With this you start at the waistline, use heavy pressure going down towards a little bit at the bottom, then you're going to curve and do light pressure going up almost to the waistline. I'll show that to you again. Start at the waistline, heavy pressure going down to the bottom, curve and then light pressure going up almost to the waistline. One more time, start at the waistline, heavy pressure going down to the bottom, curve, and then light pressure going up almost to the waistline. All right, so I'm going to give you a minute to finish that line on your own. Okay, congratulations boys and girls. You have learned how to draw all of the shapes you need to know for our artful calligraphy. In our next video, we are now going to focus on drawing the lowercase letters. And the first letter we're going to start with is the letter N. So take good care of yourselves, have a great day, and I'll see you soon.